What's up guys, it's Jacob with J&J &J Engraves. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys today how to make your own honeycomb clips for your honeycomb board. So you can keep your boards nice and flat. You don't have to use magnets or anything like that. And you can cut these out of wood and if they break over time, you just recut more. Um, this is what I use a lot. They help and uh, not hard to make. And I figured I'd do a quick video just showing you guys how to do it. So uh, let's go ahead and I'll flip over to my honeycomb board. So it's pretty dirty right now, so excuse that. But you want to take a pair of calipers and you want to measure your hole here from from top to bottom, side to side. You want to kind of get an idea of the uh, circumference of that um, hole. All right, so once you get an idea of the uh, <clears throat> circumference of the hole, you'll know how to design this better in Lightburn. Um, so after this, we're going to uh, hop over into Lightburn and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Real quick. Designs that I had. Now this is the one that I started out with, the one that I highlighted and uh, ended up having to do some redesigns here, but this is how it essentially started. Now this slit in the middle gets cut and it goes in between the honeycomb holes and it fits in between and it kind of uh, spreads. I mean, I'll, I'll show you when I make it. I don't like this design at all. This is just something that I came up with when we uh, first started uh, doing this thing. And, uh, and uh, it worked at first but I noticed some issues like your nozzle this thing's a little pointy so your nozzle if it got too close it might hit it and knock your stuff off uh, f knock your stuff out of alignment that wasn't good so um, ended up retiring that guy and uh, going back to the drawing board and just doing a few things we ended up rounding the corners here and here and uh, we split the lines up so this gets cut first and then this last that's how we ended up doing that now this is the one that I like the best. Um, it's one my wife came up with. It uh, it works really well. This one goes just into a honeycomb hole. It doesn't go between the holes. And when it starts out small, when it goes in, it kind of gets wide. The slit in the middle there, it lets the wood expand and push and everything. And it, it just ends up working out really swell. So that's my favorite design so far. Uh, here in a few minutes, I'll end up making up. I'll make one for you. So uh, let me pause it real quick, and then we'll we'll get into that. Let's just draw us a square here. We'll make a hold shift key when you're drawing your square, and it'll make it an exact square with perfect proportions. It'll be a true square, not a rhombus. So uh, let's lock that bad boy. We'll turn it into a red. Um, if you hit your comma button while it's selected, oh shoot. Uh, I'll grab your pointer tool up here and while it's selected and you got all the squares and everything around it um, if you hit your comma tool shift com or shift period shift period it'll rotate it 90 degrees so you'll get that kind of pointy look now this is how to make this guy here I feel like this one's the easiest one to make um, it'll pretty much work in any honeycomb bed you just got to make sure that these sides like from this purple point to this red point will fit in each hole that's the main thing but anyways uh, let's get back into it now we're going to make us another square um, I'm going to make it we don't want to make it a square we want to make it like this and we want to adjust the width to about seven make the height uh, we'll make the height 35 so that sounds good so now we've got this so we've got these two pieces working we've got to take this guy um, let's roll this down kind of make our our triangle here and uh, now you would want to duplicate this hit shift um, shift or blah, blah. dang I can't do it it ain't working for me guys son of a gun why to do it now there we go okay so now we've got that done let's uh, bump this guy up to about here 
I'd say right about there is good. All right, so now that we've done that, we've got it from the bottom. Let's go ahead and we'll just make it bigger. And we want to make these lines intersect right here. So now that we've done that, we're going to take this, highlight these two. And I'm going to play around with this. I'll probably get it wrong, but play around with these until it looks right. Uh, weld. We don't want to do that. So Control Z will undo it. Undo the shapes. We don't want to do that. Bam. That's the one we wanted right there. Yep, yep, yep. yep. It's either one of these. I mean, get, get familiar with Control Z and clicking these until it looks right. That's about my, my best advice for this. I've been doing this for a while and I still don't understand these uh, darn things here. Now this should be the weld button um, and that should make it look like the rest of these guys. There you go. Boom. Now you would want to take um, a line like this, hold it, bring it straight up to about right there, left click to un or right click to uh, let go of the line. You want to take this and we want to align it to the bottom and then we want to align it um, vertical center. Bam. Then we would want to make this like a different color so we do like pink and then if you wanted to round the edges of this guy then you would take this radius tool here. Ten's probably too big. Yeah. Uh, let's go down to like three and see what happens. Boom. Boom. We take this up here, go three. You could even go more than that, probably on that one. Go up to like five on it. I mean, the lower the better. You just want to have something to hold on to. And there you go. You've made yourself a little honeycomb hold down. And so it would cut this shape out. It would cut this uh, line in the middle. And you would put these two, basically the line in between the slats of the honeycomb. And it would hold down. So uh, that's how you would make that one. This one right over here, my wife made it. Um, I don't know how. I don't know if she found this or, or what, but this is a, a really nice design too. Uh, it works for my bed. This just goes into one hole. So, I mean, if you get fancier with designing these, I mean, you can end up doing something like this uh, design here. I wish I could show you how to do it. I just didn't do it myself, so I can't, uh, I can't walk you through it, and it would be a mess trying to figure it out. It would take me a little while. That definitely doesn't look easy. But uh, it, it's definitely a nice design, though. Um, that one works really well for my honeycomb, but this one worked extremely well, too. And if you notice that it's too tight or anything, just go back in, um, highlight it, do an inset. If it's too tight, go inward, you know, like 0.15, something like that. And that should make it fit a little bit um, looser. And, and the opposite way, if it's too loose, then do an offset outward by like 0.15 cut another one and, and do them until it feels right um, but I'm going to cut one of these bad boys out we're going to show you what it does and how it works and if you learned something cool be sure you like the video and subscribe and all that good stuff all right guys so we got our scrap wood right here on the um, on the bed and I'm going to go ahead and get this bad boy fired up now a cool thing um, that I also want to tell you about if you don't have one uh, totally get a light burn camera and set it up on your laser if you're uh especially if you're having trouble like aligning things and getting it right it's totally worth it in my opinion um just you know hit hit that update overlay button and bam it shows you everything and how it looks on the bed which is really nice in my opinion so we're going to move all these guys out of the way once you get a nice uh honeycomb uh cut that you like you can make just a gob of these at once and you'll probably burn through them because they do break over time um, they don't last very long but you know they're you've got plenty of scrap wood laying around more than likely if you're doing this and you're anything like me so it's not a big issue at all so that's where I'm going to put the guy let's go ahead and hit start and cut it out it shouldn't take too long Ideally, I would have done the pink first. Holy crap. Go 
coming right at me. Uh, all you're only supposed to do is with the lid down, folks. Don't be like me, unsafe Jacob. Hang on just a second, let me pop that thing out of here. Painter's tape is uh, your best friend for grabbing stuff out of, a, out of the uh, board. So, uh, now we've got this piece here. You don't have to worry about sanding or anything, but uh, what you want to do, let's say this board was all wobbly. Actually, hang on. You would take it, and you'd kind of push it down between those two. Line your wood up, push it down until it's good and tight. And that'll keep your board. Put four of these down or wherever it's warped at. And that'll keep your boards nice and flat while you're engraving so you don't have to worry about you know anything messing up or looking bad. Super easy to make, they don't take very long at all. Um, I recommend this type here if you're wanting to do it simple. Uh, here's that other one in action. The other one that I was showing you that that's on here. You could probably just uh, screenshot my uh, my uh, my video and trace it or something like that to make your own of these. But it just goes into one hole. You don't have to slide it between two. And that's pretty nice too. I like that design as well. These guys, if you're not careful and you make them too big, and there's some spots on here that it doesn't really work well with, so uh, I feel like this one works better in all the places. But this one actually holds them down a little tighter than this one does. So uh, between the two, this is a really good design here and it's solid. And just follow the instructions on the video and you will have one yourself. All right guys, well that's all. Uh, if you learned something cool, be sure you like the video, zap that like button. Uh, let's keep them rolling, but this is a cool trick. Hopefully it helps you out and uh, keeps, uh, keeps you from pulling your hair out if you're trying to keep something flat. It's a cool, cool deal, and thanks again for watching. Peace.